Well, <clears throat> very good morning to you and um, welcome to morning prayer on Thursday, the 25th of November. Um, I hope all is well with you um, and um, apologies for the, the lack of morning prayer yesterday morning. Um, unfortunately, local events have um, kind of uh, taken hold inevitably of everything um, but we're back today and um, clearly we continue to hold our community very much in our thoughts and prayers um, thank you to everyone who's who's come to the church um, both on Tuesday and yesterday evening um, we have well over a hundred people more like 150 come to to pray to light candles to to cry to reflect um, and um, to hold one another um, in fellowship and love um, which was um, really important and um, I know uh, there has been talk of um, of a book of condolence and um, I'll be talking to one or two local people um, about how we can set that up best um, this morning um, but uh, clearly we continue to hold our community in our prayers um, and um, today we are remembering Catherine of Alexandra um, and Isaac Watts, the great hymn writer, um, and we'll be, as always, um, hearing words from the Bible and praying for the church and the world and the day before us. Appropriately um, enough, our diocesan calendar encourages us to pray for all people who work with young people, children and families, um, and um, we're, of course, um, hugely conscious of um, the young people directly involved in um, in the tragedy this week um, and also our school community um, and um, the young people the staff and everyone um, in the school um, who are trying to uh, trying to uh, to deal with um, with what is a, an extraordinarily difficult situation so we'll be pleased to pray for them oh lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm is Psalm 125. It's uh, quite a short one. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but stands fast forever. As the hills stand about Jerusalem, so the Lord stands round about his people from this time forth forevermore. The scepter of wickedness shall not hold sway over the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous turn their hands to evil. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are true of heart. Those who turn aside to crooked ways, the Lord shall take away with the evildoers. But let there be peace upon Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. That's a timely reminder that God is around about his people at all times. And the scepter of wickedness shall not hold sway. Well, we know that ultimately good will prevail, love will win, even though times are extremely difficult. Well our gospel reading from the New Testament is taken from Matthew's gospel uh, chapter 10 beginning at verse 34. 
Jesus said to the twelve, do not think I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's foes will be members of one's own household. Whoever loves father and mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those who find their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of, a right, of the righteous. Whoever gives even a cup of cold water to these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lo lose their reward. And when Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and proclaim his message in their cities. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Well, let's turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the church, the world and the day before us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, that you are always round about us in our midst. You sent your son, Jesus Christ, to live among us, to know pain and suffering himself. We know that you don't leave us or abandon us in our sorrow, but you're there in the midst of us. We thank you, Lord, for that. We do pray for our community as we continue to, to process the events of this week. We thank you for the loving response of our community for the prayers, the support, the ways in which people from different, well, different places of all different faiths, beliefs, and none, people have just come together in love. Lord, we thank you for that. And we pray for, for those most directly involved in this week's tragedy family, of course, and the children. Lord, we pray for them. We ask that you would surround them with your love and that they would receive the support that they need. Lord, we pray for our community as we move forward, that we would seek and find the best ways of supporting one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our school, recognising the, the challenges in that community, recognising the, the ways in which young people assimilate and handle news and with many questions, many questions perhaps which <laughs> many of us are asking ourselves, um, but somehow children can articulate sometimes uh, more effectively than we can. Lord, we do pray for the school community, for head teacher and leadership team, all the staff, and uh, most of all, of course, the pupils. Lord, we do pray that your hand would be upon them. We thank you for the many ways in which that community has been supported. Lord, we do pray for them today 
but Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do pray for the different groups within our wider community who are affected by what's happened. Included among them the, uh, the community at the Otter Garden Centre. And of course, the, the college in Williton, where Stephen was a member of staff. Lord, we do pray that everyone will, will join together to strengthen one another in mutual support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray as always for our church. We thank you for, well, for the place that our church holds and has held in the community for hundreds of years. Lord, we thank you for all the people who were drawn to come to church in the last couple of days. Lord, we pray that that will have been uh, helpful in some way and significant for people. Lord, we do pray for the strength of your Holy Spirit to guide us all as we seek to navigate these difficult times. We continue to pray for all of our members and the community that we serve. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we remember those affected by this tragedy, so we pray too for those who are ill at the moment those who need our prayers, those who are suffering in body, mind or spirit, included among them Derek and Beryl and Rosemary and John. And we rejoice that John at least has now returned home. And Lord, there will be many others and we bring them before you in the knowledge that you are the great healer. We pray that you would grant them strength. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As always, Lord, we pray for those who are bereaved at this time, those mourning the loss of loved ones, included very much among them, of course, the friends and families of Stephen and Jennifer. And of course, too, for the person who died so unexpectedly at the Ring of Bells pub last week. Lord, we bring before you too the friends and family of uh, Gary Parsons, whose funeral takes place later today. We do pray for that occasion, that it will be a fitting time to remember and celebrate his life, but also to share in the pain and sorrow of his loss. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do pray for the day that lies ahead of us, thanking you for the presence that we have as a church at the uh, Village Hall in Norton. We pray particularly today for the meeting this evening of our reordering group, we seek to uh, look at our church premises and see how we might best develop it, at least hopefully by being able to have a toilet in order to further grow our mission and ministry. So Lord, we pray for your hand upon that meeting, for your protection upon our architect Annie as she travels to us. And Lord, we pray that we will be able to discern your voice. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So eternal Father, whose son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King, keep the church in the unity of the spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, 
who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you with me, whether it's been live this morning or later on um, on catch up. Um, services um, this Sunday, of course, in our churches, St. John's, Staple Grove at eight o'clock and three in the afternoon for songs of praise and um, 10.30 um, all age worship at Norton. Um, everyone very welcome and um, we look forward to, to seeing you um, there. Take care.